Few places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes in the scarlet and gray have this place rocking already. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 12 team in the country, the Indiana Hoosiers, taking on the fourth ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Buckeyes will kick it away to start us off. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Indiana's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Such a big decision early in the game when you're opening drive, third and short, you run it, you don't pick it up, and now you're just inches away from getting it. I'm not going to be surprised, guys, if they decide to run it here again. The Hoosiers decide to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Gets it away, solid distance, but more importantly, trying to keep it away from that return man. The Buckeyes offense will take the field for the first time. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, And that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying to get the edge on the jet sweep. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. We're seeing more and more offensive coordinators find creative ways to get their best athletes, their wide receivers, involved in the running game. And what better way to do it than with the jet sweep? Great example right there. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Dropping back, it's Howard. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, right through his hands. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. And I love taking deep shots. I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you could tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. They'll run play action. Finds the tight end. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. 
the time-honored phrase for a quarterback is field general. This dude in this environment, he, he's like a stadium commander. He's like a, an elevated rank above field general. He's like an orchestrator. He knows how to, how to set them off and then bring it up and bring the excitement with the big plays and, and make it look easy time and time again. And that's why this offense is so impressive. Got his man downfield. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. Power ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. Well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. Wait, the line getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Trying to get to it. Fakes his man out. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Coach is always hard about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The play action fake. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. They'll try to run for it. And the ball's free in the backfield. How in the world did the offense retain possession? Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back. And the Hoosiers will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot, and the ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. The Buckeyes come to the line in the hurry-up. Trying to find his man on first down. The pass is incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield, and that shot the quarterback took might have been a little too much. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. Here comes the option. He'll pitch it. And the fourth option there is to throw it in reverse, and that's what happened on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. 
Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. They'll give it to the back. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting in the backfield, making the play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Grabbed in the middle, it's Henderson. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. It's good. And now the lead's extended a little far. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Looking to pass, it's Rourke. The little soft flip pass falls incomplete. And how nice is it to have the whole crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affected the football game. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's cross. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Such a great job by the defense winning on early downs. What does that mean? Now it means third and long. Third and long, now I go to dime packages, to nickel packages. I'm taking linebackers off the field and bringing on DBs to really cover more guys and have more speed on the field. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Just gets rid of it before the heat. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force split them. The Hoosiers will punt this one away. No fair catches here, looking for room. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Give to the running back. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Looking for room at the 30. And into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Buckeyes! When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success.
Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. It's caught downfield. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. They'll try the run. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a gap. It's Ellison. Running into the open space. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I'll tell you what, a few more runs like that, and defensively you start thinking, more guys in the box, more big guys. I better stop this guy because he's unbelievable. Just a great job breaking off the big run, and the OC is going to give him the ball some more. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Looking to throw, it's Rourke. Got his man on the right. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Catch in the middle. It's Price. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast. Low. And the offensive line, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. They're bringing heat. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And there's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Getting some heat. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. 
This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws and scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. And the Hoosiers send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. The option look. I have no idea what he was thinking. He just ran out of bounds, and it's a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. He'll bring it back. It's Williams. He's brought down after a good return, gets it out to the 31. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And this crowd loves a good pass rusher in the line of Chase Young. The Bosa's Jim still wagging. The Buckeyes can get after the quarterback. Yeah, and when the crowd's going nuts like it does in the shoe, it just makes it easier to rush the pass. So the snap count is silent. It's predictable. And then you pin your ears back. And that's why they've had so many great pass rushers at Ohio State. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. We keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. The Hoosiers will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency there and try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Motion from the offense. To the air, it's Howard. He looks that one in nicely. At the 35, he's loose. Running toward the tape. Almost took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. After that huge gain, now a chance to cash it in from just outside the five. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Powers forward. 
Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Ohio State. Up and over, Yam will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Line getting set on second down. The gift to the back. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. Third down coming. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Looking for a man. It's Rourke. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just gotta be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you gotta make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Hoosiers will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Slips through the line. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Looking to move it through the air. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there. Getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line, it's Smith. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards. And we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Abuka. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are gonna dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're gonna target our best player, and we're gonna make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. This tight end is such a weapon because he can line up all over the field. That time he starts in the slot. He's running the corner route against zone coverage, and he's just got athleticism and wiggle and the ability to separate and make big plays. So nice to have a target like that. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. Well, that, that's, that's new. Uh, you want to keep the ball to the tight end in this situation and let him run the football. I mean, goal line area, 
maybe no you know what it stunk it was a, it was a bad play call don't do it again got nothing last time now second and goal from the three they're gonna run it he steps and powers and works his way they finally get him down at the two and with the stuff there jesse on second down this little third to mid range you got two downs what are you thinking here maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option see if you can get the defense in a bind it's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Fourth and goal from the two. Can they finish this drive? short of the marker and they'll turn it over on down first and ten from inside their own five you got to take care of the ball but there is room to take a shot here nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry this is such a hard area to have success as an offense i mean you're backed up near your own end zone what you really want is just any kind of space like can i get some breathing room but again i know this is a defense too i know you're trying to get out of there so i'm playing the run really really hard i'm sticking to the wide receivers out wide nice job of hey you didn't give up a safety and i think they'll mark him right at the line of scrimmage didn't help much with the breathing room but on the upside they avoided the safety it's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Leaves it with the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football, even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Makes a grab close to the logo. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And yeah, listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. Looking to go up top on first down. He got it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. And the wide receivers have to understand what part of the field they're on. I got to make sure I have enough space when I run those out routes that when I break, I can catch the football and try to get upfield, get a few more yards. He runs out of space, but he got the catch. He got some positive yards. Trying to get the corner. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. This is a hard defense to run to the outside against because of their speed. You saw in that last play, their ability to go sideline to sideline, win at the point of attack as they shut down that sweep one. Yeah, and it's also hard when you get in the red because what do we do on defense? We bring in all the big bodies, so there's not a lot of space in there to run. I like getting the ball in the perimeter. And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Buckeye! He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Set to kick this one away. 
looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll go to the counter play. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. Time to put an end to the speculation and find out they're inside the horseshoe. will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They'll open the second half on the ground. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Reading the option, it's Howard. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Safe completion on the screen. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. And the Buckeyes line up to punt it away. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. From the gun, running back on the move. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. And the Hoosiers will call on their punt team. Takes it on the return. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. 
Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to throw, it's Howard. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the catch. It's Tate. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Price. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. He'll keep it himself. Smashes through. And it's loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. And the defense did everything right against that option play. They got to the quarterback. They forced him to keep it. Not only did they create the fumble, but they jump on it behind the line of scrimmage. That is just perfect option defense. Offense working from the pistol. To the ground with the back. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Looking to throw, it's Howard. They've got the screen set up. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Well, they're trying to set up the screen pass to the running back, just nowhere to go after he caught the football. The defense completely swarmed around him, and that's a loss. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the punishment has been extended. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right, shoot. He's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Ready to try the point the after. For the extra point. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner goes down. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. From the gun, running back gets the give. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Just feeds the running back. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. 
Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Wide open downfield. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. Here's the handoff. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They knock him down at the 40, but he picks up five, and it'll be enough for a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The Hoosiers look to keep this drive humming. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. To the air. It's Rourke. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Fires and picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught. It's Tate. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistake. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. 
it'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Used to play fake, now to throw. Pulls it in, it's Price. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. They run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. The inside handoff. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. This is a guy that can find you the hit the yard. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. To throw, it's Rourke. He's right on target. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Off play action. Feeling some heat. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. He saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch up. And you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. He'll pull it on the read. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Yeah, and you're seeing the open field running ability by the QB on that play. Nice job being patient, finding and allowing the blocks to set themselves up before he breaks off that long run. The coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Fourth and one, I gotta know my situation. I gotta know I can't mess around as a running back. I gotta get through the hole, make the first down. No matter what, if I gotta run somebody over, I'm running straight downhill, straight for those sticks, making sure I get that first down. Snap it to the back. And he has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D-linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Looking downfield, it's Rourke. Coming after it. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit.
PAT unit on the field. Is on for the extra point. Right down the boulevard. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. He leaves it with his back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. After picking up a couple at second and eight, the give to the tailback. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. A third down try for the offense. He'll try it again. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The Buckeyes will send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Back to throw, it's Rourke. Good timing on the quick out. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Price. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. They're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. On second down, they'll take to the air. Grab behind the line. It's Horton. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll throw it on first down. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. That's reeled in. It's Horton. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. And the Hoosiers have pushed it inside the 20. Back to throw. It's Rourke. 
quickly complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. The Hoosiers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Put themselves in a bit of a bind, but that last one is second and 14. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it! He gets it in! Touchdown, Hoosiers! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Lining up for the PAT. Bangs it through for an extra point. They march 72 yards, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Never gives anyone a clean shot at him. He's down to the 34. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. They'll try to bully their way for the first. At the 20, he's got space. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. We reach the two minute warning and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. And the Buckeyes line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the stomping has commenced. Well, let's count them up. One, two, three, three is the magic number for touchdowns. Yeah, it's as easy as ABC. Goodness gracious, he's been getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. I want to change something up, or maybe focus on that guy that's getting the football a lot and scoring. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. This drive will open from the 15. Looking to throw, it's Rourke. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. 
And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. He's back to throw on second down. Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Horton. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. And yeah, listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. Patting my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games when we had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And this defense, his head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Going up top on first down. Working that left side now. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Hoosiers getting set on first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. Pulls it in. It's Ellison. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana! And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. No stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence.